Life is one day at a time dot com. Life is one day at a time dot com. I'm Minister Chestnut. Thank you for joining me again on another day of life and another day of love to live in his riches and glory. Praise God. I hope you had a safe 4th of July. There were a lot of incidents and a lot of people got hurt, but I pray that you had a safe enjoyable 4th of July, Independence Day. Now, how independent and how free are you? Well, today there's a lot of mental health issues going on. And people, they really, really, really need some help. But tonight, we're talking about different things that will affect your mental health. <music> Dementia and Alzheimer's are two of the most common mental conditions that affect the elderly population. However, there are other mental conditions that can also have a significant impact on individuals' well-being. Here are five mental conditions, including dementia and Alzheimer's, and steps to improve them. Depression. Depression is a serious mental health condition that can affect individuals of all ages. It can lead to feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and a lack of interest in daily activities. To improve depression, individuals must seek help from professionals or therapists. To improve depression, individuals should seek professional help from a therapist or a counselor. They can engage in activities that promote relaxation and stress relief, such as exercise, meditation, or spending time with loved ones. Anxiety. Anxiety is another common mental condition that can manifest as excessive worrying or fear. To improve anxiety, individuals should practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing or progressive muscle relaxation. Cognitive behavior therapy can also be effective in helping individuals identify and challenge negative thought patterns. Bipolar disorder is a mood Disorder characterized by extreme mood swings between manic depression episodes and depressive episodes. Hey, there's a lot going on. To improve bipolar disorder, individuals should work closely with a mental health professional to develop a treatment plan that may include meditation therapy and lifestyle changes. It is important for individuals with bipolar disorder to establish a routine to get regular exercise and prioritize sleep and self-care. Schizophrenia. 
Schizophrenia is a chronic mental health condition that can affect a person's thoughts, emotions, and behavior. To improve schizophrenia, individuals should seek treatment from a psychiatrist who can prescribe medication and provide therapy. It's also important for individuals with schizophrenia to have a strong support system of family and friends who can offer encouragement and assistance. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, better known as ADHD. ADHD is a neurodevelopmental disorder that can affect the person's ability to focus organize and manage time. To improve ADHD, individuals should work with a mental health professional to develop strategies for managing symptoms such as creating a daily routine, breathing tasks into smaller steps, and using tools like planners and reminders. It's also important for individuals with ADHD to maintain a healthy lifestyle a balanced diet, and adequate sleep. In conclusion, there are various mental conditions that can impact the individual's well-being, but with the right treatment and support, individuals can learn to navigate their symptoms and improve their quality of life. It's important for individuals to seek help from mental health professionals and to prioritize self-care in order to achieve overall mental health and well-being. Plus, it's important to know Jesus because he gives you peace, love, and a sound mind. A, and there's more. Just give me a couple of more minutes. Other factors, including dementia and Alzheimer's, are two of the de debilitating mental conditions that affect a large portion of the elderly population. These conditions not only impact individuals suffering from them, but also their caregivers who play a crucial role in providing support and assistance. As such, it is essential to caregivers to be equipped with strategies to cope. Coping with some of the strategies for caregivers, including, is one of the most important things caregivers can do is educate themselves about the conditions, understanding the symptoms, progression, and possible treatments that can help caregivers to provide better care and support for their loved ones. Additionally, learning effective communication techniques can improve interactions with individuals suffering from these conditions. Simple gestures, such as speaking slowly, using clear and simple language, and maintaining eye contact can make a significant difference in their level of comfort and understanding. Furthermore, caregivers should prioritize self-care to prevent burnout and maintain their own well-being. Taking breaks, seeking support from family and friends, and joining support groups for caregivers can help reduce stress and feelings of isolation. It, it is also important for caregivers to set realistic expectations for themselves and be forgiving of any mistakes that they make. Caring for loved ones with dementia or Alzheimer's can be emotionally taxing and is crucial for caregivers to prioritize their own mental health and physical health. In addition, creating a structured and familiar routine can help individuals with dementia and Alzheimer's feel more secure and comfortable.
and engaging in simple hobbies can help improve cognitive function and overall quality of life, providing a safe and common environment free from clutter and distractions can also help reduce confusion and anxiety for individuals with these conditions. Seeking professional help and assistance from <clears throat> when needed is also essential for caregivers. Consulting with doctors, specialists, and social workers can provide valuable information and support to navigate the complexities of caring for individuals with dementia and Alzheimer's. Additionally, considering assisted living or memory care facilities may be necessary if the level of care requires exceeds what the caregiver can provide. In conclusion, caring for an individual with dementia and Alzheimer's can be a challenging, but with the right knowledge, support, and resources, caregivers can effectively cope with the demands of the conditions by educating themselves, prioritizing self-care, creating a structured routine, and seeking professional help when needed caregivers can provide the best possible care for their loved ones. And it takes strength and power. But God gives us power, love, mercy, faith, ability, and Holy Spirit too. So we can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthen us. So if you're a caregiver... Be reminded that God will help you do everything necessary for you to help your loved ones. And I'm out of time. We'll pick this up next week as we continue on another episode of Life is One Day at a Time dot com. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Life is one day at a time.